Hi guys, this is Joe Garth from Quixel. Thousands of you have asked how our latest real-time cinematic Rebirth was made, almost not believing that the technology has come to this point where photorealism is possible in real time. But we're here to tell you that finally, photorealism is now not only possible in real time and for games being made right now, but that when you use these cutting-edge real-time tools and assets, it's incredibly easy. What you see is not pre-rendered. This is running in real time on a mainstream gaming computer with a single 1080 Ti. Not only that, this is a fully interactive world. It's completely playable. I'm just gonna jump into the game here and have a quick run around the scene. So as you can see, you can fully interact with the physics objects of the scene. Everything has collisions. If I push this little rock off here, it's gonna go falling down. The other great thing that we can do is change the lighting. Full dynamic lighting helps us work much faster. We could also make the most of Unreal Engine's volumetric effects. The dynamic lighting really helped us on our short film. It meant that we could iterate very quickly on our shots and adjust things in real time. We never had to stop and wait for renders. Everything could be adjusted right then and there. Here you can see me tweaking the fog and some of Unreal Engine's post-processing effects, like chromatic aberration, vignetting, and film grain. There's no smoke and mirrors here, guys. There's no real-time ray tracing, just the vanilla version of Unreal Engine 4, combined with the photorealistic and massive Megascans asset library, fully optimized for games and VR out of the box. By having a world-class game engine and all the photorealistic building blocks you could possibly need from day one, you can focus your creativity where it matters the most, building fun, meaningful, and immersive experiences. We are one step closer to fully interactive worlds, indistinguishable from reality. And the good thing is, with Unreal Engine and Megascans, we're able to build it with ease. Stay tuned for tutorials this summer. This is Joe Garth from Quixel, signing off. Until next time.